Over the past few years, we've been really impressed with Volvo's new range of cars on the SPA modular platform. Those are the XC90, S90, V90, and XC60 crossover. But now we're driving the first one on the CMA, that's compact modular architecture. This is the XC40, and it's Volvo's compact premium SUV that's designed to take on things like the BMW X1 and Audi Q3. So let's go for a drive and see what it's like. So I've only had a couple of hours behind the wheel, but so far the XC40 is making a really strong impression on me. For starters, I like that even though it's a small, more affordable model, it drives with all the seriousness and competence of Volvo's larger models. That is to say that all the controls inside, as well as the steering action and handling, just feel very grown up and mature. I'm driving the T5 all-wheel drive model. That's going to be the launch model in the US. So we've got a 2-liter turbo 4 engine with 248 horsepower, 8-speed automatic transmission, and standard all-wheel drive. Now, it delivers all that power really smoothly and easily. The transmission is very civilized and smooth in urban driving. There's plenty of power for passing out here on the open road. So it's a really nice engine. It's not necessarily the most exciting to listen to, but it's not gruff or unpleasant to hear either when you're accelerating hard. The ride and handling mix is right where I would expect it to be for a car like this. We've got the R-Design package with optional 20-inch wheels, so certainly it's more stiffly sprung and damped than the base car, but partly because I think these roads are extremely smooth and pothole-free, it's been very, very comfortable so far. I'll be curious what it's like if I drive one of these back in Detroit, but so far it hasn't beaten us up too much at all. And at the same time, it's reasonably poised and competent when we go around these twisty rural roads. Out on the highway too, the XC40 feels really nice. The ride quality is very nice out here and it keeps wind and road noise to a minimum even when we're at speed. It really contributes to that premium feeling and part of that extends to the materials that are in here. The switches, a lot of which carry over from the bigger Volvos like the S90 and XC90 are really nice and feel great in your hand. And we've just got nice trim, nice stitching on the leather seats, this metallic trim on the dashboard. Volvo has always made its name on safety and the XC40, even though it's a more affordable model, doesn't skimp on how many active safety features are available. This one, for instance, got pre-collision braking that can detect pedestrians and cyclists as well as other cars. You can option the pilot assist feature that will help steer when you're on the freeway as well as adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring, and a 360 degree camera that's really nice for parking in urban spaces like in Spain. Now I'm looking forward to spending more time behind the wheel of the 2019 Volvo XC40 but so far I really like that it offers a blend of practicality and style and that it drives like a premium product. For more on the 2019 Volvo XC40, be sure to read my full first drive at motor1.com. And if you've got any questions, you can always leave a comment and we'll get back to you with the answers.